Hello YouTube, I'm back to another 3D ROS tutorial. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while, but I've been extremely busy. Anyway, this is just a quick tutorial to show the difference between exporting two versions of the same material in Substance Designer. So this is what it looks like in Designer. But sometimes if you bring it Unreal Engine, it'll look like this version on the right. And you're wondering why. That's because it uses 16-bit, and Unreal Engine doesn't support 16-bit very well, so it won't support the sRGB space, whereas 8-bit will. So 8-bit, that'll come on automatically. And the 16-bit, just you just end up with this washed-out texture. So just to resolve this, you just want to make sure your base colour is 8-bit. You can do that in Photoshop by creating a new document, selecting 8-bit, or in Designer, you can just come to your base colour, and just before the output, you can see everything is 16-bit. So if you just create a Levels node at the end, just don't do anything with it, just plug it into a Levels node. And if we go to Output Format, just change that to Absolute and that'll change it to 8 bits and that way it'll export as an 8 bit texture uh, the rest are fine at 16 bits so you can get all of that detailed height information of uh, the black and white gradients but when it comes to colour our eye probably doesn't really see much difference I don't anyway so I just turn that off because the file size difference is huge so the 16-bit file is 62.3 megabyte, whereas the 8-bit file is only 10.2. So that saves you a load of texture memory and hard drive space, and you won't encounter this problem in Unreal Engine. So yeah, that was just a quick one. That was just a quick easy fix to fix this problem you may encounter when exporting textures from Substance Designer to Unreal Engine. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Cheers.